I'm learning more about genetic testing. So when Karen Malkin Lazarevitz learned she had a gene mutation that increased her cancer risk, she acted quickly. I was given at the time an 87 percent chance of developing breast cancer in my life and a 44 percent chance of developing ovarian cancer. I didn't want to live in fear, so I chose risk-reducing surgeries to be here for my children. Known before, but started she has the BRCA2 mutation, one of the most common causes of hereditary Ebola. breast cancer. To have this information and to understand mutations that exist is to be able to educate ourselves and to do our own due diligence to protect ourselves. A team of scientists now say they have identified another possible gene mutation of consequence. I think eventually this gene should be added to the list of other breast cancer susceptibility genes. The study published in the American Journal of Human Genetics looked at genetic sequencing of a small group of people in Poland with familial breast cancer and identified among some of them a rare mutation in a gene called ATRIP. The researchers then found that same mutation in the DNA data of other people with breast cancer in Poland and the UK. People who carry a mutation on that gene would have a two to three folds higher risk of developing breast cancer comparing to the general population. Akbari says more research is needed to back up the findings. And while this mutation appears to be much less common among breast cancer patients than those already screened for, this scientist says this kind of research is valuable. I think the results are quite promising. We are, we are looking forward to validation in other samples to really identify the, the genetic basis of cancer development, which can be used for different purposes, including preventive strategies. The Canadian Cancer Society says the discovery is promising, and it's looking forward to see how the research develops. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.